What's up? I'm gonna watch a vegan what I eat in a day video by Sukari Life. Definitely useful information. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We got it open. Just kidding. Oh, there we go. Interesting. Mmm. Smells so rosy. It's a tiny bit. Why would you add something to your okay, so food that smells rosy? A teaspoon. And then if just you means want, that it's you toxic. Can also add like vanilla protein Drink the powder. whole bottle. Uh, and that would go well see with it if that's hospital. what you do. Um, otherwise, it's just stupid it's to do it. It's still a very beautiful color. How is the color of your food relevant in any way? Okay. <laughs> I would hope that this is a joke, but it isn't. So what can I say? <laughs> Alright, so a typical example of a vegan who doesn't eat whole foods. Almost none of them do. I've watched so many of these videos. It's just slime. And some not sludge. I love adding mulberries to my smoothie bowls because ooh, the smoothie is so cold so they harden up and they become super crispy and so sweet. Because the way I make my smoothies, I don't make them too sweet. I know they look super sweet, but they're not. Um, that's how I like it. You probably so don't even for me, taste sweetness anymore because you're so over sugared. Balance. And yeah. I'm gonna finish this and I'll see you Candy guys would taste later. bitter to you. Hi, I'm vlogging today. Let's go. Yeah, that was a pretty tough workout. Feel good now? Let's go home and make some uh, kusheri. You feel good because you're out of the gym. Feels good to get out of torture, obviously. <laughs> We're making kusheri. I'm gonna do the garlic first and then the tomatoes. Compost Garlic's bowl. toxic. <laughs> These really are such toxic. tiny garlic uh, cloves. It's really hard to eat it all with. raw so right first, now. I'm just gonna saute the uh, Come on. garlic. Right now. Roughly chop the tomato and put it in the blender. Oh, something's burning. So now I'm gonna go blend this up. What the fuck? More blending. So some salt. Oh, it's a lot and of fucking salt. <laughs> salt is a rock. So about it's tiny pieces of rock. Okay. You're absolutely fucking and retarded. If you put salt in your food, it's basically, it's typically they do it with white rice, but I'm making it with <laughs> brown rice, lentils, and a little bit of pasta. Looks disgusting. I've never put it in my mouth. Alright, so you have typical meal, meal which is supposed to so replicate meat and blood. Uh, you see this everywhere with vegans. Leftover brown rice isn't the best, but kusheri. If you go to Egypt, you have to have kusheri in Egypt. There's nothing, not even this. Like to be honest, like the kusheri in Fake Egypt. Thief. Typically, they add pasta to it. I have a little bit of pasta in here, um, but not much. The smell of this hot sauce. No wonder it's been around for years. Um, Your natural okay. human senses are asking work, for work, blood, work, work, work. and you eat. pour fucking hot sauce anyways. on it. I see a That's a mental illness. You're not listening to your body. Some sourdough bread and a toaster. Two very good, very genius inventions. For fucking slaves. I also had some of these earlier today. They're oh. called the <laughs> 
the closest, they're like a bitter apple. Uh, they're local here in Saudi Arabia. I like them. Sugar, with anti-nutrients, plant oils, pretty much useless for humans. You need saturated animal fat and what? Some more anti-nutrients. And for the leftovers, I'm just gonna squeeze a lemon. And then they have different sizes, so I use this for the lemon. And everyone's happy. Bit of sumac on this You're one. definitely not happy. On this one too. This Nobody is, can um, be happy eating this. Like it's impossible. It's the recipe dates, for depression. Oh, this light, you look good in this light. And Leanne is having sourdough with The recipe for living paste. with depression. I, I, I you should write a book. <laughs> and I already did my savory ones. Ooh, maybe I'll do hazelnut butter. Hazelnut butter or peanut butter? For what? My last sandwich. This anti-nutrient or that anti-nutrient? No. That's where we make a difference. Butter. <laughs> Not craving it. I'm craving Everything you eat is incredibly time. fake. Oh, that is a lot Just of a bunch of sludges and slimes. No. It's my new. Got it new. What? I'm hoping that she's one of the very few people in Saudi Arabia who follow this cult. Anyway. As usual, she didn't get over 15 nutrients because she's following a starvation diet which was created to make people infertile and just to age you and slowly kill you. That's the purpose. She was eating a lot of the nut butters also, which means that she's craving animal fat and the savory foods. What could that be? Meat. There is nothing else. She goes to the lengths of creating all of these recipes and combining these foods which she would never in a million years find in nature. And of course all that she wants is to eat animals, but that's how she delusionally tries to make food out of crap essentially. She's not getting any of the fat soluble vitamins which would be found in the animal fat, so it's absolutely useless to eat all of this crap. It's just a mental illness. You want something else, but you eat all of this stuff which your religion allows you to eat. You could simply listen to your body and eat what you want to eat, but no. Snap out of it. Wakey wakey, okay? I think it's time, yeah? Thanks for watching.